a.m. right now, and I'm going to the emergency room just because I've been without sense of smell. I lost my sense of smell for um, one week now. I want to get that check and, and see what is going on. This is going to be the fifth time that I'm getting tested for COVID-19 because I was tested four times and out of the four times, one time I was, I, te I tested positive. So as I say, I tested positive four times and that was when I was in the military and out of the four times, one time, no, I was tested, I was tested for COVID-19 four times, but out of the four times I tested positive one time which was the wish that I was in separation. And then after leaving, I tested negative. And it's been one month now. And um, just recently, I realized that I cannot smell anything. That's been like for one week now. So I am here right now at the Punciana Hospital. And I am checking, just waiting for the person or the nurse who is going to make the exam. I'm here now in the room and the nurse is gonna come and make me the test. This test is going to be a sore throat, um, not sore throat, that is a symptom which I do not have. <clears throat> but this test is going to be of the, of the throat swab. And the ones that I got before were the ones that they put uh, something inside your nose all the way back here. This one is going to be on the throat. Hi. Do you mind if I record the whole, the whole, the whole test? If I just put my phone in there and then like record everything, just because I have a blog and I just want, I just want to put it in there. It's fine if you say no. Not like All right, you can't record me, but I guess you could record. I don't know. You have to ask the doctor actually. Okay. Let's see what he says. That's fine. Right now, I'm just gonna be your mic. So we are out of here and we are free to go home. I'm gonna be receiving all the updates or the results of the test in two days, 24 hours, 48 hours, that's what she said. So. All right, uh, where's the exit? Thank you. So I am free now, and now I'm looking for my car. I cannot find it. I think I see it now. Yes. So can you believe that the test that I just got done for the, for the COVID-19 is worth? $897. But then this lady, the one she came, she was the billing assessor or the billing, the billing lady. She found a discount of 90%. And then on top of that, she gave me another discount. Ah, give me one second. This is not working, I have to take it out now if I want to get into the car. So, as I was saying, she gave me one discount of 90% on the total amount of 897 
and then she gave me another discount of 20% on the final cost so I only had to pay $90 but I think it's amazing how much money it was just for probably half an hour the west that I was in there but it was worth it I mean in that in the sense that I'm gonna know I'm gonna feel comfortable how I'm going to be feeling after not how I'm going to be feeling but yeah how I'm going to be feeling and I'm gonna have the result of if I am positive or negative and then I'm gonna know how I'm going to be feeling if a sense of peace or just what I'm going to be doing next okay so now I am going home I just received an email right now saying that my results are back from the COVID-19 so well it's not an email it's a message the Evala Silo Avila COVID-19 test results associated with your phone number are ready Florida's Department of Health partner with Healthy Together to deliver results use the Healthy Together app to unlock results okay so I have to download this app and today is just as the nurse said two days after my visit to the hospital I was checking if the microphone was on. Okay, here's the app. Okay, so I say wish up the two of them. Check the first one. By providing the patient's date of birth, your relationship to the patient, and tapping confirm your give consent for the Florida Health Department to release your results through the Healthy Together app. Please note results are logged after three failed attempts. Birthing must match what the, what the testing provider has in your system. Okay. You tested negative for COVID-19. This may mean you were not infected at the time your test was performed. This does not mean you will not get infected or sick. It is possible that you were very early in your infection at the time of your test and that you could test positive later. Or you could be exposed, exposed later and then develop the illness. A negative test result does not rule out getting sick later. It is still strongly advised that you monitor your health and practice social distancing and proper hygiene. That is weird. So what is happening with my smell sense? Next steps. Follow your doctor orders. Follow your medical professional advice to determine your course of action. Maintain social distance. Stay home from work, school, and all activities when you have any COVID-19 symptoms. Keep away from others who are sick and limit close contact as much as possible about six feet. And learn more. COVID-19 is in a family of viruses known as coronaviruses. To learn more about COVID-19 and how you can help reduce the spread of the virus in your community, it's up here. I wonder why do I have two tests? Let's just the second one. Well, two tests, both negative. Perfect. Test type polymerase chain reaction. Okay. What do I do if I've been exposed? So, perfect, I'm feeling much better now. And I'm going to wait one more week and if my sense of smell doesn't come back, I'll call the doctor and ask them, what can I do? Those are my results, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe so you can watch my new videos. Bye.